Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Team Fortress 2. And this episode, I am going to be rolling the scout. And it looks like we're playing a losing game of Gravel Pit. Uh, and the scout I could best describe as basically a harasser. Uh, basically capping points, being really quick, uh, flanking. It's basically your all-around utility and, and front lines in terms of uh, offense classes. And he uses his speed basically to dodge uh, projectiles and bullets and make it really difficult for it to hit him. So a loadout I happen to be using today is uh, the scatter gun, which is my all-time all favorite. And I just took that crit to the face. Um, I, I'm using the scatter gun, which is uh, the main default uh, weapon. The guillotine, which is like a... It, it's basically like a fire once, and it kind of regenerates after a little bit of time, but it does a lot of damage if you do manage to hit, hit, fling it at someone and hit them. And the atomizer, which is a... Uh, it's weak against players, but enables you to have a, a third jump. And the reason I use that is because I, I'm not... Oh, we're, we're dead. Um, the reason I do use the atomizer is mostly because I'm not too into melee, as you know. And so I, I'll usually use a melee that will g give me a little bit of utility. Um, that's kind of how the way I work it out. Yeah, to me, to me, the atomizer just like who gives a shit. It's just I'm not. I don't melee stuff, especially as a scout. Uh, you know my opinion on melee. I just I don't melee. The only the only class that should be meleeing is is spy because that's that's an insta kill, uh, backstab. If the opportunity arises, you can. But I wouldn't go chasing people, and I wouldn't really play demo night because uh, in both cases it's just it's just eh. But anyways, um. But yeah, so I use this. I don't kill people with the bat. I, I just use it for the utility third jump, basically. This guy's running the baby baby face blaster. Uh, the guillotine I like because it's like a nice little... Like, you just kind of like throw it, you get it back within like a couple seconds. So it allows you to kind of like, if you want, stack some damage uh, while they're bleeding. Uh, that's, but you know, probably the pistol might be a better choice if you're playing a little bit more on a competitive level, obviously. I'm, I'm guessing this stuff is, uh, is banned in comp. Uh, but we're not we're not playing comp as you know we're playing just I'm just I'm just showing you pubs I'm not really I'm not really interested in uh, showing off uh. and that guy got killed and they got an uber scout over there who's apparently gonna chase me oh shit oh fuck sorry man I'm the worst kind of teammate let me at least go kill this guy with the crit okay I feel really bad about that. Sorry about that, buddy. Um, yeah, I basically, I, I, there was a time I never played T, uh, Scout TF2, but I actually started to play it because uh, I'm a huge sniper guy. And I played a lot of sniper, but if you want to play in uh, at least pugs in competitive uh, TF2, I, di I dipped into that for a couple of months. You have to play something like Scout because no one rolls a permanent sniper. Uh, they roll one scout that basically is a switch and it switches between things like uh, that they'll need like you know maybe pyro uh, if there's a if, if it, we were playing on gravel pit the pyro is actually really good on C uh, so I'd roll that maybe engineer uh, there's a whole lot of like utility classes that people do roll and uh, yeah, where's that sentry oh he saw me uh, so so yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much how I got into this. <laughs> that's why I love that thing. He's just about to run too. Okay, let's see if we can get some more health. Unfortunately, I think we're just stuck here. So the unfortunate part is when there's a sentry up. Uh, there's actually not much the scout can do about it. So uh, I, I I just have to roam around and see if there's something else I can possibly do later. Like I can help this sniper out perhaps. With the pirates over here, who's gonna apparently pop an Uber? Okay, come on over, Pyro. <laughs> so I did just play. I, I I literally that was the only reason I did play this. He shouldn't have shot me. I was at full health. And I took the health pack. I took the health pack from him because of that. I just sat on it, let him shoot me, and then I took it away. I just robbed him of his health, and you cannot go have that. That's okay with me. Um, by the way, I'm not playing with anybody I know. I don't want to do that because it's just. Uh, I feel that if I play with people I know, it's gonna kind of skew the game. I'm trying to give you some like some interesting, basically 
Uh, it is pub game gameplay after all, but you know, I'm not trying to show off or anything. I just want to show off weapons and stuff. It's fun to me. Oh. Oh, he did set me on fire that time. But I can just get past him like here. And let's go kill this guy. No. So I'm just right now playing just harassment basically. I'm just going around. I'm trying to get them. And so I could use this triple jump if I want. Because I'm never going to melee. Uh, I, I just absolutely refuse to. Um, and it just only the spy should really. And so you can kind of play like this. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, and there's a scout right there. Oh, good shot by him. Okay, so let's let's do some other lay loadouts. Uh, let's do... Um, this is actually the full... The, the one full set he does have is Shortstop, Mad Milk, and the Holy Mackerel, which is like... Uh, I don't know if you really want to roll this, but it's like weapons that don't really seem to complement each other. The, the Shortstop... I've never been able to aim it. Like, it's just... Look, like, it's four pellets. Like, you can kind of see on the wall there really random ass spread so I guess you're supposed to use it at close rate like I'm not even hitting this guy or maybe the server has mods so that dildy don't get hit I don't even know but it's a, it's just it's one of the worst combinations but it does give you plus 25 HP and that's for the one reason you would run it um, if you do plan on using the, the short stuff pistol it uses actually the same ammo pool as the uh, the regular pistol so that's one disadvantage to, to take into account because you'll probably then want to run the milk then or something then you might as well have the fish so if you're running the shortstop, this is probably the best idea for you is to just run all this Mission stupid shit. But the thing is, the scatter gun is honestly the strongest weapon. It is the strongest weapon he has. It is it is a damn shame if you don't decide to, to equip it. Maybe the soda popper is okay, I would say, because it seems to act like the scatter gun, but it has a two-shot reload. It's the only thing that's that I can think that's that's even comparable. Um, the the short stuff I just found was was not for me basically, but I'll try and get some kills with it anyways. How'd this guy get up there? And then they Ubered right out of the gate. Why? Unfortunately, I have the auto reload thing on, but so whenever I shoot, it seems to. And see what I mean? It's just like, I don't know if I'm missing or what. And I just killed that guy totally by accident. And now they they just got their Uber off. So, you know, having extra health, though, really helps with, with classes like this. Because it's just kind of like... So I got the milk and I decided to do it. And you basically get a bunch of health back whenever you shoot someone. That's what basically what the milk does. The fish is nothing more than, like, the standard belay, except... You see what I mean? Like, sometimes, like, the pellets just won't hit anything it's really strange so I'm guessing it's like a really the, the best thing I could describe it as is I think it's a close range weapon um, I, I I can't understand it I, I really can't and I, I don't think it's that worthwhile what the hell and there you go I got a fish kill honestly I think the fish is more of a, like a actual useful weapon than this this thing I I it's it ruins the whole set for me to be honest because it's just like yeah I like the health but it's I, I, I can't get over the how, how shitty the shortstop is um, I can't understand anybody who runs it so it's like it's, it seems like a, a kind of like a mix of the pistol because like I'm like do you see like this random damage kind of like I'm doing this guy I don't even know Unfortunately, that guy, that's going to kill me. The enemy has additional time. I don't know, it's useless. It really is. Could grab some health backs. Looks like these guys are going to cap us. Anyways, um, if you're finding you're not very effective with Scout, though, enemy please keep in mind that things like map and time. player count and setup and all that kind of stuff really quite matter a lot. Uh, on lower player counts, the Scout is actually really destructive. Um... With the exception of someone going like combat NG or something like that, that's the only thing I can honestly say is uh, probably one of the like it's the only hard counter in this game is sentries with regard. I shouldn't have ran into that. Uh, the only hard counter in this game is basically scouts and sentries. 
because uh, the sentries aim for you, and there's not much you can do on that. Oh, uh, let's get the hell out of here. Try and go back to base. I might as well do this. I I, I don't know. You know you notice I'm I'm not being truly effective with this, and I I, I just I, I'm not into it. I really am not. Like to me, I'm 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 hitting these shots, but I can never quite figure it out. There we go. My first kill with this thing. I, I found that, and you know the the the, the scout and happens to share a lot of the. Uh, he shares a lot of the same attributes that uh, the the sniper actually has. Okay, I, I'm literally right up to this thing. Like, it's the worst fucking weapon. And I, now I'm on blue. It is. It is so bad it pisses me off actually. Like I don't even understand even a teleporter at close range. I went okay, basically my my, my conclusion is I would not roll that at all. And so here's another little setup. I basically have the little soda popper thing with the winger, which is basically uh Stone Eagle that's just turn around. You run around and uh um uh what is it voice enabled? I just don't want to hear these people, sorry. I'm gonna be a I'm not gonna be a team player. Uh, it's basically like it's sort of it seems like the fan, but it's not it actually seems to shoot scattered gun shots and then I, I Don't know what to really think about it Because it basically just kind of I don't I don't even know at this point. I, I really don't But you get basically mini crits after you run around for a little bit and you get it with all the weapons not just the that one I just heard a spy decloak this guy has like a whole like setup here. And this guy's running that baby face blaster thing. Who the hell is running a oh that's just a spy. So here I have this thing again. So like once again, like if I have this, and now there's sentries around, so I can't really do much with this. Um it, it really sucks to be on offense as a scout, but you know, if you have a team that's killing the sentries, then you know, I suppose you're okay. So the the, the best I can hope for actually is to just see if there's an opening in, in the offense. Um, so yeah, this is like basically a two two shot scatter gun, I would say, with mini crits. That's that's all I, the best I can describe it as because it seems to have a faster reload. Um, and the winger is actually a really shit version of the pistol. You know, it has like negative fifty percent clip size, like it's five shots instead of the twelve. However, it's fifteen percent more damage. Now I'm not especially good at math, but to me that's not really a good deal. And I'm gonna get killed by mini sentries again. So I could, I could like try and pistol stuff. I, I I guess the one thing it would excel at is kind of ranging stuff when you're running away. And this is the problem with mini sentries is they're the most annoying things in the world. Uh, and I got just got killed by him. And it didn't really get a good uh, good chance at that. That's what I mean. You know, honestly, I feel that most of the scout unlocks actually make you less effective as a scout. Um, the scatter gun is just like the shotgun from hell. That's all it is. Also, this last one I have is uh, I guess the fan, the something, something of war, but fan of war. And you hit someone with it once, they take mini crits basically, and you mark them for death. So everyone gets mini crits on that person. Used mostly as a flanking weapon. Now this guy's a scatter gun. And he's gonna kick my ass. So he's also like moving around like a really good scout. So. I, I don't know why. He's just he's gonna just be able to range me at all. It's like I I feel I feel honestly it's just like these these weapons are really not that great. Like you, you you're gonna be basically just get stomped on by any scout that has like uh, actually decent weapons on, uh, which is like it's it's that's the thing. Um, I'm not too into it. So, you know, if we want, we can go use Atomic Punch, which is basically, you know, they have sentries, so if we want, we can go just piss off the, the snipers or something. That's always fun. So, uh, the scout didn't really have a... Usually the scouts can't really be mobile when there's, uh, uh, when there's sentries about, but they added this bonk thing, which is basically... Let's him... Let's him operate in maps that he normally wouldn't be able to. Oh, whatever. Oh, he's gonna heal me. Way to go, Pally. That's the whole point of the bonk crap. It's just... 
I don't know. I don't even know at this point. I, I wouldn't recommend it because honestly, if there's a map that you can't operate on because of sentries, um, probably shouldn't be playing scout. Oh, okay, I'm gonna die because I'm. Yeah, I couldn't even kill that guy. So it's like, yeah, I don't even know. You know, I'm trying to use this crap, and it's just like, it's whatever. Here, I'm gonna try and use uh, something like the scatter gun and like critical. Uh, let's do that. It's honestly, I'm, like, I'll show I'll show you these weapons. So the criticola is like uh, gives you like mini crits, but you also take mini crits. So it's like, uh, it's not it, like you you basically give up your 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 primary weapon just to, so you can get like some mini crits. Like it's I, I don't even know. <laughs> I the thing the problem is you have to drink it and then <laughs> you gotta go kill him. I would just rather just go kill him without the crits because it doesn't seem to level a playing field at all. You know if you have the advantage to begin with you're gonna you're, like let's say I'm against that sniper right. You know I I was already gonna win that. I, let me tell you that like the the scout counters the sniper. That wasn't really in question. So what does this even do? Like he's just... We're just kind of just having our friendly duel here and what, what's it really helping me? It doesn't really help you at all. It's just kind of like, a, it's a gimmick weapon, replace your pistol. And why did I run out here? I don't even know, I saw the, the line that was aiming at me. It, I don't know, it's it's one of those things, it's, it's a gimmicky weapon. If you use it, you're probably not gonna be doing much better. Oh, I died. That's what I mean. It's like it doesn't level the playing. It, it doesn't give you an advantage. It just it gives. It's just tie. That's that's pretty much it. Um, let's roll something else. Like uh, let me show you the force of failure. Uh, the best weapon. And we'll actually use the uh, the pocket pistol. So the force of nature knocks back. Uh, it's an interesting weapon to say the least. I don't like it either. Um, and then there's the pocket pistol, which is like uh, uh, it gives you 15 health, but it's a slower pistol, and it uh, gives you some fire vulnerability. I guess the melee, we can just use this thing. This is like, I feel like this is like the weirdest combination of weapons. Uh, this is basically like a, okay, so starting with the force of nature, it gives you like a third jump. Um, it's kind of like that that other thing you saw with the crits before, that, that I run around and get crits. Uh, and the thing I find with basically all the scout weapons is is that, that when they're not the scatter gun, they're, they're always inferior because it's like what this one knocks back people and, and apparently me as well uh, This one will knock back th this this weapon will knock back people like I'm sure You can do some great things with the third jump, but now you have that itemizer now So you don't even need that but like most thing most of the time you don't really need that third jump uh, There are some maps where like you can do some interesting things with the like I'm just gonna double jump my way up there Nope, nope I didn't do that right I, I, I just don't find it to be any any good and people hate the the f force of nature like notoriously for some reason I don't really understand why um, It's just it's it's a really shit weapon. It's just uh, It knocks back people sure But I don't really understand why you'd ever want to knock something back from you because it makes the second shot the follow-up shot basically very difficult to aim and and it's like it 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 loses its damage effectiveness. So like I can't I can't snipe this guy out. I'm doing like eleven six damage. Uh, I'm not being very helpful here. That's what I mean. I'm like I'm like what am I doing? It's just I'm annoying the fuck out of him. That's pretty much it. It's it's not particularly good. Now this thing, I would honestly say this is an upgrade uh, in every way. And I missed my other two shots. So I could just go right behind this guy. That's the that's the one thing that, that it's supposed to be good at. And I, and I actually managed to knock that guy back, so that was okay. Uh, so no, the force of nature, like, I, I can choose the, the, my engagement range as a scout as it is. I don't really know why I would use it. I really don't. But the pistol, though, on this end, you know, even though it's a weaker version of the regular pistol, um... Plus 15 health, man. That's that means more health from med kits. Uh, that means that's a that means a hell of a lot. Oh, 
Like, the, the 15 health is honestly, I think, worth it, because it can give you the edge in so many engagements, like you wouldn't believe. So, honestly, I would I would say take it, uh, by all means, uh, if you have the opportunity. But uh, the only problem is, you know, you're, you will die in one flare gun hit. Believe it or not, you will die in a flare gun hit. So, you got to keep that in mind. Can we, can we see this guy? Is he still here? Damn it. There we go, we got him now. Remember me? Yeah, you do. Oh wait, that I probably didn't want to help him there. So yeah, the, the pyro of them just killed me. Uh, like, it it makes you more susceptible to pyros, but you know what, you're choosing the engagement range anyways. Actually, you know what? I'm not choosing the engagement range if I'm doing Force of Nature, so... Because you have to be right up to them and then you push them back, so it's like, well, what the fuck. Um, I would use it more with- I would pair it more with a scatter gun, actually. Uh, this would be- this would be kind of an ideal setup, except maybe for this, this thing's a piece of crap. Um, which I'll get into that. But anyways, the pistol, I would take the- I would take the 25% damage, uh, firing speed penalty. So this thing is also kind of like crap, because it does like no damage. So this guy- so this is what I mean, I'm against the pyro, I'm supposed to be weak here, but I just won anyways. And it's not really, it's cause, yeah, cause I can, I can choose to evade his flare guns or, you know, do a whole, whole bunch of other shit. So that's, that's why I don't mind this pistol. I think it's actually pretty much a straight upgrade. Cause it's like in, against everything else, who cares about pyros? Honestly, who gives a shit? So let's go use this thing. I didn't hit anybody. So you basically throw these like festive ornaments around and then they cause people to bleed. It does basically bullshit for damage, uh, and it's really not that great of a weapon. Uh, I, I would not recommend using this at all. It's, you know what, actually I'll say this much. It's better than using the bat, I guess. I mean, it, it gives you something that having the other melee would not give you. So, I'll, I'll say it much, so, you know. If you don't want the atomizer, I guess that's a good second, second option. But you're not going to be belaying shit with that. Uh, now I'm on fire, unfortunately. Oh, and I'm gonna die from that. Because I'm now more susceptible to fire, so that's unfortunate. It depends, you know what? You know what, I think it also depends on map and situation. You can, you're obviously not gonna run into pyros anymore. Um, but, you know, certain maps, I wouldn't run it on, like, Junction. You know, that's, that's a really... That's a map where, like, you know, pyros are gonna be around every corner, pretty much. Uh, 